Sari is an exceptional young Iranian entrepreneur who immigrated to Canada as a student and soon realized there was a huge opportunity providing assistance to people in the Middle East who just really wanted to expand their current education. Well, with the help of the University of Waterloo's Velocity and later its acceleration program, his new concept and business called Apply Board became a reality and currently has an evaluation of $4 billion Canadian. Well, from startup to employing 1,300 people worldwide from Canada to the US, the UK, Australia, Asia, and the Middle East, Martin is persuasive, persistent, and passionate. He has a tremendous purpose, and that is to be able to help 300 million people who don't have access to great universities and colleges. Enjoy the interview. Well, Martin, it's great to have you on President to President. Welcome. Thank you very much for having me. Well, you've had a really unique journey from international student at uh, Waterloo University to founder and CEO of EdTech, a unicorn company now valued at $4 billion Canadian. That is incredibly impressive. Please tell us about yourself and tell us about your journey. My name is Martin. I was a uh... Uh, I, I was born in Iran and grew in Iran till the age of 22, <laughs> and uh, I um, uh, after I finished my bachelor degree, I was an engineer, electrical engineer, and I loved um, like building new things. And I got to know universities in Canada and the U.S. and I wanted to come to one of those universities because I just wanted to grow more and we have some education limitation back home in Iran uh, but the problem was I, I didn't speak English so I had to first learn how to speak English and a, a year and a half later I dragged myself to Canada uh, to go to University of Waterloo for my master's degree and my life in Canada uh, began about 11 years ago, and since uh, it has been a beautiful life. Isn't that marvelous? What a great, great testimony. Tell us how you went from graduating from your master's into creating Apply Board, and what did that journey look like? Were you part of Accelerator? Uh, how did you get started? My entrepreneurship. Um, journey started from when I was very, very young, like from, as I remember, um, I was selling anything to my friends. I was building new products. Uh, I was a good engineer. Um, I started coding from the age of 14 and building new things and circuits and mechanical uh, devices. I was just like so fascinated with mechanical, electrical, and software engineering from day one. When I come to Canada, first I've done my engineering um, at U Waterloo, and then I went to work uh, for two years. And then I felt something is missing. And I felt I need to quit my job. And I quit my job before actually I have any idea. Uh, one of the things that um, I've done after I came to Canada was to bring my brothers and we were helping also other people uh, for their application and stuff. And one of the ideas came to our mind was like, what if we can automate this very stressful and unknown application processing uh, to something like Applyboard? So we dreamed what Applyboard is today. And we got accepted to University of Waterloo Velocity Incubator. And then we got accepted to uh, Waterloo Accelerator Center where they gave us $30,000. If we were putting $30,000 of our own money, uh, which was pretty challenging, believe me, when you don't have any money. Uh, the U Waterloo Velocity is part of uh, the community building. And so we kind of were engage with all the three incubators slash uh, accelerators and it was great great not only for the first year that we were physically there but even after that we we get we got a lot from the network we are still uh, connected to those and we are learning 
and we receiving recommendation from them, not only from the customer point of view, but also they sending us talent and everything else. That's fascinating. So when you talk about apply board, are we talking about people who are applying to universities in Canada? Are we talking about immigration applications or both? Yes, good question. So apply board is an universal platform for anyone from anywhere uh, on planet Earth who want to come to Canada, United States, UK or Australia for higher education studies and in some cases even high school studies. When you say that your company has been valued at $4 billion, who did that valuation? Uh -huh. um, the investors who participated in our last round of financing, we raised about 300 million USD at wow. 3.2 billion USD valuation, which at that time was um, converting to 4 billion Canadian dollar valuation. So it was a price that was uh, shares were bought. So uh, is the majority of your investors outside of Canada? Um, the recent rounds majority was actually Canadian investors, but prior to that majority was in the US. That is unbelievable. So, I mean, that is, that is very, very rich, uh, especially for such a, a young ed tech unicorn company. I mean, it's a, such a fabulous story. So tell me how you were able to manage um, from a startup in, a, <laughs> in an accelerator uh, to where you are now, uh, which is sounds like you're about to really explode. How many people are working with you and uh, what's, what's the journey there? How, how are you able to, um, I guess you're learning on the job basically. Yeah, we are about 1300 people, 1300 people. Uh, we are working hard a lot um, and also we are persistent and also we are passionate and we are working on our mission. We are working with our heart. So of course you can become more creative. Of course you become more collaborative. Of course your output and productivity goes up. So obviously uh, diversity and inclusion is, is a big part of your purpose and it's a big part of your leadership. So um, as the CEO of this company, uh, what is your um, five-year vision uh, moving forward besides the mission that you've, you've already told us about? That mission is my mission for next, not only five years, for probably the next 30, 40 years. Uh, there is 300 million people. It's almost 10 times the population of Canada that they don't have access to universities and colleges. My right. mission to put every single one of them. And if I can do that alone, I if I only can achieve that, I think I'm going to have a very beautiful life. Martin, tell, tell me about what you're passionate about outside of work. My biggest joy in life is when I am getting good at a certain skill. So the learning of a new skill is very joyful for me. And also when I'm teaching others or empowering others grow certain skill or learning their life. That's the most joy I get, both from my own growth and their growth. One of the things, for example, I do outside, I dance. I dance Latin dance, like bachata, merengue, salsa. And I really enjoy it. And also uh, getting mentored, um, not only for the company, also for my life is very enjoyable for me. And mentoring others is also very enjoyable. So anything that is come kind of to like learning and teaching is very enjoyable. So do you currently have a, a mentor as your- Yes, I have you know, many mentors. You have many mentors, okay. Yes, on different fields, right? That's great. And obviously, uh, you don't need a coach because you own the company. So it's, um, you know, it's, it's a very oh, We different... do also have an executive coach. Oh, you do? And yes. what, what's the purpose of the executive coach in your situation? In my situation, actually, the, uh, actually, I need the most because when you're working like 17 hours a day, sometimes you are so in your zone 
that you need someone from outside to tell you the observation, not only on your behavior, but also for other people's perception. Because we humans, what we think of our own is our, our intention. And what others see is our action. So tell me, what is the most important lesson you've learned uh, so far in your career? I learned to don't worry. People judge a lot. And if you just want to be worried about it, it consumes all of the time. If I want to do something, I have to just focus on something. In this way, I have to expect that it can't be perfect. Not everything can be perfect. Among the path, I make a lot of mistakes. So other people make a lot of mistakes. I have to be able to forgive myself and forgive others. That's what I learned. Just focus on yourself, focus on others that matter. When you make a mistake, just, you know, accept it, change course. And when you do something good, celebrate and continue. What's your advice for startups, Martin? Uh, Number one is work hard. Um, Work hard allow you to learn your field and make a lot of mistakes on a very short amount of time. And every single learning path you have makes your next week better. Number two is don't afraid of failure. Um, you will either make a lot of small mistakes or you will make big mistake. The big mistake kills you. The small mistakes make you stronger. And third, you need to be persuasive. No one in the world come and give you everything. Like they don't box it and ship it to you. Here's your success. You need to fight for it. You need to prove to your customers that your product is good. You need to build the best product so your customers have no doubt using you. You need to prove to investors that you're worth it. And you need to build such a company with traction that investors do want to give you the money. That's great. Well, it's such a a wonderful story and uh, should be told to everybody. And good for Canada for being able to attract you and keep you. So that's also uh, very exciting. So any last words, Martin? Um, No, thank you so much. You mentioned Canada. Yes, I also thank Canada for for being such a wonderful country. And uh, we are doing a lot of good things. We are bringing a lot of immigrants. We are working a lot on good things as a society. I'm very positive about the future and very optimistic. Thank you so much for sharing your story, Martin. It's very inspiring. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me.